It's amazing. They didn't mail it in. That's exactly what you'd want to expect from a team fighting. Coach Quinn has his team positioned properly going into next season. And Brennan Smith, hard, tough season for the defenseman. Now the forward coming in Valley, scoring a big goal to start the game off for the Rangers. And, and the defenseman got involved, Anson. Uh, you see Brady Shea come up here as well. Same idea, just snapping it in the pocket. I don't think that Pittsburgh defended that well off the rush. A lot of time and space for the Rangers on goals two and four. Short and the here on the now. shorty, yep. Look, I don't know how this one goes in, but I think it's actually deflected off of Matthew Murray's stick as he goes to poke it off the stick of Nemesnikov. It finds a way, and then way too much room here for Ryan Strom, and he's got plenty of space. I don't like the goal from a goalie's perspective. I don't like the spacing from Latang's perspective. But for the Rangers, the big positive and the big takeaway for me, 42 one-goal games they played this year, guys. So in a year where... There could have been a worst case scenario. I think this was the best case scenario. These games, the 42 one goal games, are nights that, Billy, we covered them. Anson, you're at least in a hockey game every single night with this team this year. And I think that's why that season went by pretty quickly for us. Well, you could coach culture, but you can't coach skill. So that's the next step in developing yep. this Rangers now is trying to get more skill, add more skill to the lineup. We talk about Panera and possibly as a free agent. You talk about high draft picks. All those pieces could come into place, will help these Rangers team get over the hump of these one-goal hockey games. So the Rangers are down 2-1 in the third, come back to go up 3-2. Jake Gensel forced overtime, two and a half minutes to go. And as we just showed you, Ryan Strom wins the game for the Rangers in OT.